The power to pardon is a beautiful thing. You got to get it right. You got to get the right people. I want to do people that are unfairly treated like an Alice where she comes out and there's something beautiful. Okay, remember that name, Alice. President Trump was right about one thing. Presidents typically do pardon people who were treated unfairly by the justice system. But this week, his actions didn't match his words. Right before Christmas, Trump pardoned every major defendant from special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation who didn't cooperate with the investigation. Two people who did cooperate, Michael Cohen and Rick Gates, who both testified in public, are the only two major figures who did not get a pardon. According to the New York Times, Harvard Law Professor Jack Goldsmith found that 88% of Trump's pardons went to people with personal ties to him or people who furthered his political aims, and that was before he pardoned Paul Manafort and Roger Stone. Right now, Trump is sending a clear message. He keeps attempting a coup after losing the election, and now he's telling his friends that he'll take care of them. But let's set aside the shamelessness of all of this for a moment. The conventional wisdom is that presidents have the right, articulated in the Constitution, to pardon who they please. Trump does have that authority, but just because he can doesn't mean that he should. He has gotten it right before. He mentioned Alex, Alice Johnson. Trump commuted her sentence while she was serving life without parole for a first-time nonviolent drug offense. Earlier this year, he gave her a full pardon after she praised him at the RNC. Now, put aside whether you think his intentions in that case were genuine. Either way, she's a good example of the type of person deserving of a pardon. But she isn't in the same league as the people he pardoned this week. On Tuesday, Trump gave full pardons to four former Blackwater contractors who were convicted of killing Iraqi civilians. Their convictions weren't some weird aberration or perversion of justice. They killed innocent people in a war zone. Strangely, there are actual rules of war, and those four people broke them. They now have a clean slate. That's not to mention the corrupt former Republican lawmakers who Trump also pardoned that day. And for the first time, the president pardoned a family member, Jared Kushner's father, Charles. Among other things, Charles attempted to intimidate his own sister in a uniquely cruel way from acting as a witness in a campaign finance probe. Kushner was sent to jail by none other than another Trump ally, the former New Jersey governor, Chris Christie, who had this to say about the crime last year. If a guy hires a prostitute to seduce his brother-in-law and videotapes it and then sends the videotape to his sister to attempt to intimidate her from testifying before a grand jury, do I really need any more justification than that? I mean, it's one of the most loathsome, disgusting crimes that I prosecuted when I was U.S. attorney. Charles Kushner may be Trump's first family pardon, even if it's family by marriage, but he has 25 days left in office and we could see more immediate family next. What about himself, by the way? It's not like he hasn't floated the idea before. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.